Gessite. You all know why we are here today. To join our brother, Cashman William, and our beloved sister, Loveth Debu, as well. If any of you who have any reason why these two should not be joined as one, you better come up now or forever hold their peace. You can run, but you can't hide. Because I'll find you. And if I can't have you, you can't. No! Someone help me! Yes, um, how is it going at the wedding, sir? 
Right now we are in the hospital. Someone shot my daughter's husband in the church. What? My God, why? Uh, yes, sir, just calm down, sir. Calm down. Take it easy. Um, was he apprehended? No, no, no. It is not a man. She shot herself as well. Can you imagine that? Christ. This is complicated. How do we go about it, sir? That's why I called you. Why are you talking like this? I wasn't trained in your profession. Yes. Please, please. Thank you. Yeah, sure, sure. That's why they disturb again now. Uh -huh. This is unbelievable. A lady shot a guy at his wedding, shot him dead. Eh? And she also shot herself. So that guy get my This is unbelievable. Chief Ewe. Hey! Corporal Simpson. Yes, sir. That 
is the odd reflection of the reputation of our rising generation. China shit is square. And there can never be any meaningful solution to the dreadful false power without a draconian action. Doctor. Yes. Are you sure she's not dead? She's alive, but we need to keep her here a little longer. I don't get it. She's in a pretty bad shape. Then shape her up! Listen, she caused a lot of damage! I'm to... Inspector! This is a hospital. We don't need noise. Calm down. When she's okay and ready to answer your questions, I'll give you a call. Good. I haven't got time for your call. I'll be here soon. Okay, don't get worked up. Okay, I promise you will pay for it. Respect her. What sort of future generation of people are we rearing? Our women have completely turned into scary objects. I used to think that no matter how hard one thought a woman's heart could be, it was the void of cold blooded murder. Come on, Daddy. That beast. That beast is not a woman. She's not even human. Inspector, she sprung from an alien planet. An alien planet, you say? Then leave her to me. I will teach her that in this planet of ours, we have laws that prohibit murder. I hope so. <laughs> Papa Simpson, sit in my office immediately. It's Inspector. Inspector. You still can't have her. Why? Doctor, why? Now listen, Doctor. You can't go on preventing the cause of justice. She's lived life out of someone. And I guess you know what that means. Murder. So she does not deserve the, the, the protection you are calling her. Inspector, I do know justice must take its due course. Inspector, you wouldn't have interrogated her cop if she were dead. We are professionals here. Doctor, I did not expect that from you. Tread carefully. Inspector, you're messing with the impatient and his. Would you to let her live for you? Certainly you're not going to interrogate a fuck with nothing in it. Are you? What are you insinuating? Look, Inspector, what she's trying to say is she's blank at the moment. She can't remember anything. Look, I plead with you. Why don't you just let her stay here till next week? We'll get to monitor her till then. Please? Next week.
so, sir, but they had better not try anything for you. That is my own. They had better not try anything for you. For me? Yes, sir. Have you forgotten we have our boys all over there? No, they wouldn't. Because if they try anything stupid, they will go down for it. Talk to you later, please. I'll talk to you later. What in God's name is wrong with these doctors? What is this? The inspector said they wouldn't let them take the girl again. <laughs> but I did why she killed my husband. Are you sure they don't have a hand in this? Don't say that. They are doctors. <laughs> doctors who support injustice? Can you imagine? Damn. <laughs> they gave the police one week. <laughs> Just one week. So they want to help my escape! <laughs> they will do no such thing. <laughs> Let's wait until then. Please. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, please.
That was a good girl, so you're about to be asking. I mean, how could we forget that she previously attempted taking her own life? Do you think she could attempt to take it again? Of course, you do know the number of times the police have been here. So that's why the reason she will try to do it over and over again. You think she shot herself to evade the law? I really don't know what to think. But what I do know for sure is, if anything happens to her, we'll be deeply immersed in a deep, deep tussle with those men in black. This is a bad move. Why did they even bring her here? Because patients are treated and cured here. Listen, we'll be doing ourselves a whole lot of good if we put everything she can lay her hands on away in that world. I mean everything, including pieces of paper. It has to be done. Please believe to your Last can you not find the nurses? Let them keep a close watch on Oh, baby. 
the sky There is sunshine after rain Under the sky
Consequences of our actions. Moreover, she doesn't seem to treasure her life in bits. You're right, you know. She tried to take it at the church and was here. And if she had an opportunity, I think she could do it again. <laughs> I bet.
What is wrong, doctor? My God. My God, oh my God. I see somebody here by this time of the day for our hospital now. Oh. Ah. But it's just 11 now. That's not too late now. Or oh, is it? Oh God, the instruction of my chairman gave me be say once this time gone, reach when nobody can see anybody for our hospital. So if you go, come back tomorrow morning. Uh, sorry, but does that include those with metals? Now, what can English be this one? Those with metals. Now, say anybody, everybody, and you know, be everybody. I don't understand these those with metals, so break up for me. Okay, okay. You want to know, right? You really want to know? Yes. Good. hospital seems to have brought in some security personnel without our knowledge so they overpower our men can you hear yourself because to me that is the most stupid thing i've ever heard in ages what the heck is this oh, i thought you guys were professionals doesn't mean that you do not run checks before you embark upon your patients but tell me come to think of it as stupid as you don't step it should have been very very easy for you to handle It is not late. Now that we are aware, 
and have been taken unawares. We are working out a surprise package for them. Really? They, they won't believe what hits them when we struck. Uh -huh. Too bad, man, because you know something? I do not do business with me poops, eh? Now listen to me, I have to hire a couple of hands. And hey, you had better get me my money because I'm coming back for it. I'm dead serious. Please, calm down. Fine, my love. I'm proud of this, so I just want to come show to me now. You're welcome. That's so Coco, what's your brother's name? Nina Tiger. Tiger? Yes, madam. I've known what they call her Ancenius for a village. In fact, it's strong. Well, well, I guess my answer that answered that here. Well, I just hope he's not as hostile as the animal tiger. No, madam. In fact, this one gets very good and soft mind. I just hope so. Well, in that case, we welcome you heartily, Tiger. And um, I strongly believe we are more secure with you around us. Madam, <laughs> well, I just see my function to you now, so that we will stay together as we did before. As we did now, we will go back to our office. I'll see you around. Actually, black. Why don't you want the cops to come? Why did you do it? Why? I know he hurt you. What? Tell me, was it too deep that no other penalty was suitable?
Yes. Oh, well done. That's my girl. So, where's your friend? Supriya. Yes. Um, she went home. Ma. Which home? Okay, you mean the village? No, your house. Where I usually come to see her. Are you sure? Yes. Is there anything wrong with her phone? Because we have been trying to get her for over a week now, but no answer. Uh, no. Before she left, her phone was okay. Are you sure what you're telling me? Yes, I saw her off to the park. Did she get home? Precious father, please, please, please wait. Same thing. Her phone is not going through. Did she leave any for all the dresses in where she's going to? Oh, she just told me she was going home. I, I saw her off to the park. Oh, oh my god. Are you sure? Oh my god. Oh god. I'll get back to you, okay? 
I'll get in touch with you, please. I don't know how this happened. I'm amazed myself. I got a call from the nurses last night and they told me... Dr. She... Charles. Dr. Charles. You have a lot to explain about this. A lot. I wanted this girl. But you refused. Why? I don't know. Now she's dead. She's dead. Perhaps there's more to this. Please inspect me. Don't shut up! You refused to allow me to interrogate a blank head. A head with nothing. Professionals you are! Professionals, my foot. You will hear from us soon. And, not a chance. Make sure nothing happens to these cops. My life, those doctors are aware of what happens to Kashmir. If I should ask, what business does Kashmir have with them? He is not a doctor and had no hospital business, he was running. Then, why did they refuse to release that to the police? I should be asking you that. He was your best friend. I never knew either of you from Adams before you came for my daughter's hand in marriage. Maxwell, where are you going? Can you imagine that? Where does he think he's going? Heaven's them, they expect me to do with the dead body. No, 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 no. The case has been charged to court. So let it remain so, please. Sure, sir. Uh, you called me, sir? Yeah, I did. Corporal, sir, I, I want you to study this document before they are sent to court. Yes, sir. Sir, is this necessary? What do you mean? I'm sorry, sir, but honestly, the doctors didn't mean any harm. Sir, it's, it's just unfortunate that the girl died. Then why didn't they let me have her when I wanted her? Sir, you know as well as I do that we wouldn't have achieved anything with her head empty. But we would have at least still had her briefing. Now listen, Corporal, there's no emotional attachment in this. We now have two murder cases in our hands. And I want the doctors to come and say what they know about them in court. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Then we were talking about my husband that was murdered on my wedding day. By a lady! And the doctor's involvement in this case! Have you paused briefly to point 
wonder over what could have led to her shooting him. I knew he had, he had other girlfriends before me. <laughs> and what exactly transpired between them? Do you know? No woman in this land shoots a gun. That's what you think. They can even throw guns nowadays. With genuine reasons. Yeah. <laughs> These girls are desperate. She could do it for money. You mean at the expense of her life? Who would she be bequeathing the money? Her children? That was a girl with a future that should be better than that. If her life were better than anything, she wouldn't have dared to terminate her life. See what I mean? <laughs> he hurt her destiny. I believe he destroyed it. This case is not worth fighting. I wait. Yes. You what? You got me! I said I quit! Chief! Chief, come back here! of explanation to make. Well, here she is now. You can have her do whatever. you have. I killed somebody. 
I'm waiting for the handman. He doesn't seem to be coming. I wonder why. You mean you'll be hung? It's better than the life I live. Living hurts me so much. And each time I try to take my life, something wakes me up. I wonder why. What kind of a person are you? Why do you hate to leave? Just tell me what the person did to you. Yes, hello, sir. Uh, yeah, this is Kashmir speaking. Uh, you may not know me, sir, but I was... Um, yes, I was, yeah. I was over at your office uh, some time ago, and uh, you told me to call you this week to see if we can... Uh, so I don't know if... Should I come now? For the job, yes, for the job of her. Oh, but, sir, you told me this week... Next month. Okay, sir, no problem, sir. Thank you, sir, yes. Two minutes. Yeah, hello, sir. Um, uh, yeah, good day, sir. This is Kashmir. I, yeah, I was at your office last week, and then you, you, you told me that I should, uh, for the job interview. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir? My name is Kashmir Williams. I was at your office for a job interview some time back. I'm just calling to find out if there's any luck, sir. Sir, but you, you promised me, sir. There must be something you can do for me, sir. My my credits are really, really good. I, I any, any, just my. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Nice to making it five. Oh. How much is that? One fifty. What do you mean one fifty? Uh, five minutes you make now. Uh, is it not, is it not 20, 20 bucks? I see that it's five. Waiting again. One fifty. Start thirty now. Don't make for twenty twenty now. What are you talking about now? It's, it's twenty twenty. Everybody makes score for twenty bucks. Your village of Lagos. What do you mean? It's not teach me my job now. I better do something inside. Give me my money, my commodity. My money wants to pay my money. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, why pick this one now? Anyway, my 15 naira. That is all I have. If you turn me upside down, you can't find any. Not, nothing with jingle. Yeah, pay my money now. Nah, which one be this? I said they do something. Give me my money, my commodity. You rook. Thank you. Pay me my money. If you like, turn me upside down. There's no other money. Don't be know. upside down, man. I pay my money. Somebody turn you upside I down. I don't have. It's twenty bucks. Everybody takes twenty now. My money. Everybody so, takes twenty now. Okay. Why would I know you're saying you're you're doing yours for twenty bucks? We are making our house. 
Now who is 13 and not 29 and you must pay me my money before you leave. I must pay you. Simple. Stop me. Pay money. No, they look me that kind of face, yeah. If you're afraid, no, look me that kind of face. Pay my money. Ah, I will not be fear me. Pay my money. Ah, they, 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 who the school face? Pay my money. Stop, I'm It's okay. Sorry, sorry, what? Ah, what seems to be wrong? This Imagine this man, they come here, come make up. Five minutes, that is 10, 13 naira. 10 times 5, 150. That is giving me 100 naira. Stop that nonsense, ah. Is it because of 15 naira? Not, not just because, it's 15 naira. Pay my money. But, well, listen, just give him back his money, okay? 150. I'm not collecting anything like that. Take your money, you know they look me like that. Ah. God bless you. Where might I give you a Um thank you very much. It's okay. I, I really appreciate the gesture. No problem. I must uh, it's okay. it's God bless you, Jared. Take your change now. Auntie. Thank you. God bless you. you. No matter that idiot too. Oh, you come here, come make up. You see the only one. Come here, come here, do rubbish. Go make up, punish you. Man, you see that. <laughs> Steve. Man, you couldn't understand the level of embarrassment and the depth of humiliation I went through. Even for the intervention of that girl. You know what it's there for doing? Ah, they for seize me down now. <laughs> the way you did sound, you make the whole situation look like it's a miraculous situation. Come on, I mean, a girl walked in, saved a situation, and walked out, and you never got to know who she is? Come on, Cash, who be this girl? I don't know. I don't know. But the girl did. I will say you listen to yourself. Get what I enter a situation, got you out of it. Then you don't fit ask her who she be, but you still don't say the girl thing. You just the way Casa say, no be cash when I say You know me now, Steve. You know me now. You just like cash back in those days. I forgot enter that babe. Sharp, sharp. I, mean, I, I think that I was just carried away by the embarrassing situation that I just totally forgot. I can't have better me too. Ah. Anyhow, Sha, no long thing. No long thing at all. As long as I say that girl did this time, I go get her. I go get her. <laughs> you know what it is, you I remember back in the days when they call you the Lord of the Hunters. Come and say that you girl now nah, can't put for this condition. You know? But as if you say, you only tell me the real thing. <laughs> Honestly. Let's say you go and pack it, sort yourself out. They come to all the regions, they can come here, how you do, the whole thing is to come back. Dig it. No, man, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Steve, oh, my brother. And they go on that fruitless job hunt again. Thank God they my side. I just know say one day all this affair will stop. Are you sounding as if the whole world is coming on down on you? The crazy man. You know how I started. Now see where I did now. You understand? So don't worry, everything will be okay. You know? I just wish you luck. Also, I just hope. The incident of yesterday is not a sign of misfortune. You make me laugh, Gash. You mean at this age and time you still believe in superstition? Come on, man. Press it up. I'll give it a fight, man. <laughs> yes, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man.
Remember me? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, yeah. You're the girl that saved me the last time. Yeah, yeah, thank oh, you. How are you? I'm fine. You look good. Thank you. Well, if you're so much in a hurry, or maybe you have a very long way to go, the cab is waiting. No, thank you. I'll just walk. Me. You know what? I, I think you just you should run along. Yeah, because I mean, it's costing you so much money keeping that cab waiting there. You know. Okay, you win. <laughs> Thanks. Come on, let's go. You know what, um, I really want to thank you for what you did for me the last time. Oh, it's nothing. How are you? I'm fine. Life is tough, but uh, we get by. Honestly, you saved me a lot of embarrassment that day, you know. I couldn't do much than to just walk away. There you go. Anyway, before you walk away this time, be nice enough to leave me with your name. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, you beat me to that one. My name is Kashmir, you got one? Of course! <laughs> Supriya! Is that Nigerian? No, actually my mom borrowed it from an Indian friend of hers. <laughs> I don't care if your mom stole it from our Afghan friend, that's the name to beat. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you up to? Actually I was going for shopping, pick up this. You know, oh, shopping? I was job hunting. Going job hunting, I, I don't know. It's so tough to get a job these days. Yes, who's there? Who's there? quite shocking, you know, Sorry. seeing you here at the door. I mean, but it's still good. It's still good that you came. I really liked it. Oh, please, please sit down. Thank you. So, what do I offer you? Nothing. I'm perfectly fine. Oh, <laughs> come on. Man. Anything. Water, soft drink. Cash cashmere. I'm fine. I'm oh, nothing at all. Oh. Oh, Steve. Hi, hi. What's up? All right. Hi, Zubi. Uh, who do we have here? Oh. I remember the guy I told you. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Hi. Yeah. Supriya, meet Steve. Steve, meet Supriya. It's my pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> Steve is my very good friend. You he's look beautiful. Thank you. He's housing, you he's housing me here. I've heard, I've heard so, so good things about you. Really? Good things or bad things? What I said, you, good things about you. Um, um, Cash, we should have something in the fridge. Oh, oh, oh no, please. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Come on, Thank it's your you. first time here. Maybe next time. Yes. I've been talking to her, but she refused. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
So. Gosh. Yeah. Could we possibly go somewhere else? Anywhere? Right now? Why wow, you you don't like it here? Oh oh no, it's it's beautiful. I I just wanted us to be alone. Oh, oh. Sure, sure. Now? Yeah, 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 let's go. Why not? Come and see it's really a pleasure. Oh to take care of yourself. Alright, bye. Cash? Uh yeah. Uh, I'll catch you around then. <laughs> It's hard though, but maybe it's not too. At least one thing you said in the bar does have bread for you. What is it now? No, no, no. It's so hard. Yeah. I can't talk about it. Cash. Yep. She wanted you nothing. <laughs> I've not even finished this when you're asking for anything else. Don't dare me, yo. I can finish everything you have in your purse right now. For real, spare me all that self pity and patronage. I don't have a hole in my purse. Oh, really? So you came well prepared, huh? Well prepared. Thank you, man, but you've been feeding me fat. Look at me, I'm so big. I mean, look at me. What, do you want to feed me till I bust? There's no space in there. Well, there's no space. Yeah, I know, but I want to be like. Like, you know, you know, like a model, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not, not like fat, chubby, you know, but I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyway, thank you, thank you very much. It's been really, really nice and wonderful. Very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Christ. I'm very uncomfortable with that. I'm sorry. Anyway, you haven't told me what you were doing before. When I was doing before, I was shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just... Of course, I was kidding. Um, nothing. I wasn't doing anything. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, nothing. I wasn't doing nothing at all. I mean, I finished my youth service like a year ago. Mm -hmm. I've been to virtually every office in the city. Mm -hmm. All to no avail. No luck. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, what's that thing? How have you been coping? Oh, uh, Steve. My cousin, he's been like a mini god to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's been of immeasurable assistance to me. And he looks like a nice person. Well, he yeah. is. He's my cousin and he's, so, he's just a great guy. Oh, goodness. Uh-huh. Somebody's definitely going to get dressed in that time I'm thinking. Maybe I should introduce you to one of my father's friends. I guess they can help. Really? I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks. Of course. I mean, anything to get a job, anything. So, it's a deal. Great, a deal. Cheers. <laughs> Fina, come on. Look, I know you like him the moment you see him. What is there to like about someone you don't know much about? Eh? It's not out of the ordinary. I mean, he's handsome and gentle. Really? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just that? Yes, just that. Now tell me, what does he do? N nothing, but, but he's a graduate. He's just out of a job for now. What? What is there to like about a job that's graduate? Eh? When you have thousands of graduates out there with mouth-watering jobs. Fina, that is an inequitable way of talking. Oh. Hamba, he's not going to remain jobless all through now. By the way, what matters most is that he's a nice guy. You know, he's cute, he's gentle, he's subtle. It's just different. Good luck then. But tell me, 
But how long have you known him to be able to draw a conclusive assessment of him? Fina, how can you be so archaic? I mean, I don't have to know him for the 21 years, 10 months, and 3 weeks I've been on this earth. The important thing is that he's sweet. Really, he's different. He's... He's... He's everything. Really, you like him. I just hope you don't get disappointed. No, I because they come as saints at first. And before you know it, they turn you into a piece of rubbish. <laughs> and before you say Jack Robinson, they're gone. Try and be optimistic for well, once. I think I'm still with you for now. Dreaming of your love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, really, he's different. Mm -hmm. He's sweet and he's nice. I think you're jealous. Mm. Tashma, you're different. She doesn't know yet. I've been everywhere around this city, virtually everywhere. Really? How come? Were you born and bred here? Or you want a taxi driver? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just that um, ever since I got into the unemployment market, I've, I've been around. And I've seen lots of girls. But none as beautiful as you. Thanks. I mean every word I've said. You are a very beautiful woman. And you're also a very wonderful person to be with. And handsome too. I like you very much. I like you too. Supriya, I, I don't know how to say this to you. I can't seem to find the appropriate words. You know, I can't. I can't seem to find the appropriate words to to express how I feel inside. You know, deep inside, it's it's right there, but I just can't. Seem, I, I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. I understand. And no other words could be more suitable. Imagine how I'll get to you tonight. Oh boy. I'm telling you, Steve, I still don't believe it. That there are girls in this country that wouldn't make a guy lose his head in the, pro in the process of trying to prophesy his love to them. I can't believe it. It's unbelievable. I agree with you. Ah! Our guys have really gone haywire. But they are not so cheap and loose. I am telling you, Steve, that this girl confessed to me from the onset that she had always loved me. So, how are you feeling like? You mean you're telling me? That her benevolence was a signal for your attention. What are you trying to say now, Steve? Then why did you tell me to get acquainted with her in the first place? Is that where you're coming from, Cash? You misunderstood me completely. She was just being nice. I mean, like someone acting on impulse. A good friend. Remember what she did for you. Not someone you will sleep with and break her heart. I have heard you, Mr. Good Boy. So I'm now the heartbreaker. I'm serious. That girl is a good one. Mm. And I know a good girl when I see one. Thank you very much. For you. I have heard you now, Mr. Good Boy. Let me go and take off my clothes. I'm sweaty. Cash, cash. Mm. No, really, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm not joking. I 
Your parents know them. But his name, but his name was, his name rang a bell in my house. He bought me lots of things, lots of beautiful things, roses, gifts. He, he sent it through a local courier service. Everybody admired it so much, including my father. What does your father do? He's a chief judge to a high court. He can't be serious. And you're here at the mercy of death? Nobody knows I'm here. They don't know my whereabouts. I came here from school. And this place is far from both my home and my school. Those nurses and doctors who took care of me are my people now. At least they'll be there on my dying day. Oh, stop it. I hate you when you talk like this. Our neighbor, and that he's very close to this family. So pray, my daughter, that's not a priority here. I wonder if you know how many people have been murdered in cold blood in this country on a daily basis. Do you know the number of criminals that are bound to the length and breadth of this country? There are millions of people there, voiceless people like that whose rights have been trampled upon. And when I sit back as a law officer to look at all this, I feel it is not proper. I swore to an oath to defend and uphold the law. And so I'm advocating that the earlier the law prevails in this country, of course, the better for everybody. Yes. But my dear, it still baffles me why I did not save that boy. I mean, you had all it takes, all within your power to save his life. Murderers like him are not supposed to leave. Why must he leave? If you allow him to leave, he will endanger, obviously, the lives of innocent people. And that I won't do. But Dad, he's not a murderer. It's just a mere mistake, Dad. Chamber, you can say that again. But let me tell you, you go out there and do exactly what he did and see if I, if I won't nail you. Human life is very precious. Nobody ever toys with it. Did you hear that? Nobody ever toys with human life. Is that correct? Yes. Good. My father will have condemned me. He did the same to our neighbor. He sent him to life imprisonment. That's like going to hell when you have a godfather in heaven. What did your neighbor do? He was playing with his girlfriend. Then she fell and died. I guess I'll have done the same if I were in his shoes. Sometimes you freeze my blood. He didn't mean to kill her. I thought so initially. Until he explained things to me. He would play rough and dangerous to people. It could be your own person who died. How would you take him? Okay. What did Kashmir do to you? Kashmir. Kashmir.
time I see you What time I hear it What time I do it Have I been dreaming What can I do for you? I have a parcel for you Parcel for me? Yeah And I would like you to sign here Oh, sure, sorry What am I seeing? What am I hearing? What am I doing? Have I been dreaming? I'm in chains, I'm in pain. Person. It's 
that what is bothering you? Mm -hmm. It could be a surprise package from Kashmir or maybe from one of your secrets. <laughs> no, please, Mina. Don't sound like that. Come on. I mean, why would a secret admirer send me a VHS tape with a strange message written on it? Listen to this. I know you hate home movies, but you must watch this. Sounds horrific. I mean, why would Kashmir even play such a game with me? And you've not seen what's in the tape? No. What would I be doing with a home movie? I don't watch them, and you know that. Home movies are great, but this doesn't sound like I think you need to see what's in that tape. It might be something very interesting. That is, if I remember where I kept it. <laughs> I'm sure you enjoyed it. I'm serious. <laughs> Come on, I shouldn't be crying, should I? You know, nothing will see. That's why you have all these little tape issues. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, all I'm thinking of now is being What? Someone is looking jealous. Non-sexual. You know what? If you are a wood, I am not a wood. I'm human. I have blood flowing through my veins. You have to understand. Understand what? That you're a piece of furniture? That unmarried people are not supposed to have sex. I can't do it until I'm married. <laughs> what? To whom? A saint? Like someone who's never met a woman before in his life? Is that what you're talking about? You know what? It's very, very obvious that this whole thing is beyond you, so I'll just look elsewhere. No, 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 please. No, you can't do this to us. I mean, you can't allow sex to tear us apart. Please. Gosh, please. I see that you need some time alone. I'll just leave you.
Rafa, cause we are woman. Follow me here now, we are woman. She don't go. She's left. What's up? What I can fathom is why she wouldn't make love to me. Ah, make love? That's why you think like this. You know, it's all these girls, the frustrated person. We don't know their we don't know the way that they pull their own. So you know suppose a lot of that kind of thing they frustrate you. You're not a guy now. You understand? And there is nothing in love making. She they feel me so. Except say the girl don't see another guy outside with his straff and wear. With a comb and well emily wet. Then I why? But all these girls are the same. She doesn't believe in premarital sex. <laughs> After all those kissing, smooshing, where they smoosh her? Why should they doll herself now? No, we should feed doll, she did doll herself. Forget that, you no know, let her tell you stories. Oh. All those online, nah, 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 oh, up my hands in the hands. Oh. I just up my hands, oh. no believe her. Forget that thing. I did tell you, down on your hands. Man, Maxwell, I'm just so disoriented. I'm sick and tired of this girl's obstinate resistance to my sexual advances. Make I tell you something. If girl get one outside, they would pretend to you say, man, they are good, they are innocent. All those ones are stored. Okay, imagine me and Bola. Old school days. The way they move together. See the way we play our rooms those days. So why you they doll up? What concern me and your story with Bola? And the talk of what they disturb me, they talk Bola. Don't be saying for the Sex. 
China I love you. I really do. And I don't want him in another girl's house. Then you have to be ready to give it to him. Fina. You don't want to lose him. So that's the only possible way out. Come think of it, who is he anyway? I'm just tired of losing those I love. I'm tired of it. You see? Men snoop for it. Even when they have it too for them. Not to talk of when they've been denied of it completely. I'm just so confused. I don't know what to do. You're no longer a child, so I think you should understand all this by now. You're right. Can't you let go of him? Your friend or an enemy? That day, I lost my virginity. I hated him for it. And gradually, he became the order of the day. That is it with the problem. He comes to visit me in school. And we continued unguardedly until I became pregnant. Christ! You, you, you could have used contraceptive drugs or something, you know, like I just... I hated something. I hated drugs of any description. <sighs> See, that was a very previous mistake. I know. I got to know later. He insisted on an abortion. And I vehemently refused. Even though I knew my parents would kill me if they found out. I still, I still refused. I said no. I still refused. I've thought of it. 
I don't want to have an abortion. You know, I'm not ready for marriage now. It's rather premature for me. Is that what you'll say? I never wanted sex. But your flap wouldn't stay zipped. Now you've destroyed my life. <sighs> Supraya, so, I, I couldn't resist you. I was so attracted to you, I just couldn't help it. Besides, we're both mature people. You and I. We should do mature things. You should have thought of that before you were demented by the animal instinct in you. Have you thought about this? Have you thought about your future? Your family background? Have you? I want an abortion. And I'd rather abandon my career, my family. I could have the baby elsewhere. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself speak. It's obvious you want to kill your mother before her time. You know you're all she's got. Then I'll stay. Stay where? Here? <laughs> Supriya, that means you want your family to kill you. Think about this, man. Think about it. This will ruin your family's reputation. <gasps> My sister died having an abortion. I don't want to die. Shut up! Just wait. 
No girlfriends. Okay. Girlfriends. Until I became his victim. <laughs> you remember? What was on the tape? I killed my only sister in an abortion. What did you come to tell me in my class yesterday? I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. Get up. I said, get up!
tears for my crime. I saw him left here. <laughs> what did he do to you? <laughs> he threatened me. I threatened you. <laughs> threatened me. What did he say? He threatened to kill me if I don't go with him for the abortion. Abortion? Yes. Are you pregnant for him? Yes. Are you pregnant for him all this while you didn't tell me? Oh, I was scared. I was scared of telling you.
So, how is she? How is she? Man, talk to me. How is she? You see, there was a little complication. Uh, she, 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 she lost it. I mean, she lost a lot of blood. You see. Let me go and see her then. No, no, no. Don't bother yourself. You see, you know, I, I'm still attending to her. I'll get back to you. Just wait a minute. I'll get back to you. No, please, I'm coming. the scene of his wedding. Yes. Yes. So what about the tape? Where is it now? It's in my family house. I hid it away. We need it. It could set you free. How do we get hold of it? Freedom. I don't need it. Who do you really say you are? 
Stay for me and go and watch it. Please, before commanding. Emmanuel, bring her my daughter from that place. Yes. Daughter? My daughter is said, Bring her down from there. Bring her down! <laughs> Very, very sorry. Very, very, very sorry. <laughs> that boy was indeed a man. And anyone who eliminated him before he destroys more innocent girls in society must be commanded to do a good job. My lord, please don't go you're saying it. That boy indeed was a bloody animal. professional manner they are dreaming and the earlier they realize that the better for them sir if you know lawyers very well sir they don't dream that kind of dreams at least they dream what whatever they should be ready for me they what? should be ready for a face off with me pardon me sir if i ask this one more question sir but what kind of face off i like doing things my own way i know what to do about it I'm afraid, sir. I'm afraid, sir. That might be ridiculous. Yes, it might be ridiculous. Because they are most certainly going to bask in a high drama razzle-dazzle. Let's see about that. Come on, sit down. Thank you. 
what he's fighting for. Well, maybe if we have a point, perhaps we don't give our children for the upbringing. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you see, no matter the negative influence, how strong it may be, um, to the child's peers, a well oriented child at home will never defeat nor go astray. I don't understand what you're talking about. See, when has it become a thing to go into an affair? It wasn't just me, that's all. Well, that actually wasn't uh, a love affair, it was a sexual relationship. A lot of girls do it these days. I remember vividly well that I never had carnal knowledge of you before I got married. I never impregnated you. I never aborted any pregnancy, neither did I damage a womb in the process. Then fight for the illegality of abortion in this country. After all, you're one of the considerations of the law. Why you stop her from having sex? That's all right. But you see, if they must have sex, then they must be ready to get married. That's the bottom line. I don't care how you feel. That inspector better pray that the doctors confirm my daughter fits to leave the hospital. Otherwise, hell will let loose. Oh, well, come on, woman, play it down. Okay. It's like it is. Please, just calm down, sir. Please. Sir, if you will agree with me, sir, I will suggest you don't fight this fight anymore, sir. Please. Just take it easy, sir. Please. Corporal. Sir. I've gotten to a point of no return. No, I can't. No, sir, please, you can. Sir, please, you can. Now, see, sir, as far as those tips and the personalities in the middle of this case are concerned, sir, that girl is innocent as pronounced. She's not. She's a victim of her stupidity. Listen, Copper, how could she have accepted to go for an abortion when it was the same thing that killed her sister? Sir, maybe because of her future and her family background. Oh, what about her future and her family background? Copra, murder is a punishable offense. She has to pay. But, 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 sir, need I remind you that that girl's father is a chief judge? And so what? You will get her off the hook, sir. She will leave again. The most we can get off this case wouldn't be any better than a few years sentence. Yes, and I even doubt that, sir. That's impossible. Sir, he has got enough evidence to set her free forever. Besides, sir, that girl has been in jail for so long. Sir, try to understand. Please, be, 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 be human, sir. She can't afford to go back there, sir. Please. Please.
if that boy were alive, he would have been compelled to face the wrath of the Lord. Out. What would that boy need us? Or minions? There isn't much you can achieve against these people. I never knew a beast of a boy came to marry my daughter. But I smelt a rotten rat the moment I spotted those people today. It was sure worse than a beast. Anyway, Chief, as a law enforcement agent, I have weighed the gravity of your late son-in-law's offense. And I think it would be in the best interest of your esteemed family to drop the case. If there is any case that should be dropped. In point of correction, I have no son-in-law living or dead. That is not good to your reputation as a chief. I have had enough embarrassment. The case involving that rotting egg will never for the turn into untruthful direction. Not anymore. Go back to your station and face your business. I have to face my daughter. Chief, tell me, how do you now convince your daughter that the case is not worth fighting? Should that cost me another headache? I believe that the members of the police force in this country work in consonant with one another, irrespective of their location or stations. If possible, let that girl take you to that quack jack that spoiled her womb. He has to face the music. He has to face the music. No doubt about that. And I think the one that killed her sister deserves to dance to the music as well. Chief, I have to take my leave now, Chief. Yes. I talk to you again. Okay, you have to take care. Okay, sir. See Thanks. you again. Forced 
raped her. Secondly, he forced her to start dating him. And afterwards, he killed her. I made up my mind to pay him back no matter when. The tape. How did you get it? I took shots. I. I don't understand you. Are you a cameraman? I don't have to be a cameraman. I paid somebody to follow him up and take shots of whatever he does. <laughs> you. You must have a lot of money. Has nothing to do with money. I love Daphne, your sister, so much that I made my mind to avenge her debt. I'm glad he paid for his deeds. I just wished you watched that day. I wished no word about my hunch, about the entire situation. I knew he hurt her terribly. And what did he do to her? Your daughter married the beast. Daddy! Shut up! He dated the sister of the girl that killed him. He impregnated her. Killed her during abortion. What? As if that was not enough damage. He also dated the girl that killed him. Impregnated her. And took her where her womb was damaged during abortion. My God. And abandoned her there. Just for your daughter. My God. For a year or thereabout, she never knew his whereabout until that day, that fateful day, she found him on that cursed wedding day and killed him. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. God. She killed him. Kashmir, killed Jesus Christ. <laughs> I never knew Kashmir was this me. Peter? Always make sure you know those you make friends with, including those you get married to. But how do we know them? By their fruit, you shall know them. But must they abort the pregnancies after impregnating the girls? That is what the sinful kids of this generation are. That boy, that boy must be sitting right beside the devil. I don't want ever, I don't ever want to hear any more about that evil child in this house. That boy was a, a sick boy. He tarnished the image of this family and deserves to born in hell. I'm in chains, I'm in pains Under the sky, all alone In the rain, 
your name. Under the sky, Tyler. there is pain, so there is pain. Why do you hate homeless? Nothing, they just don't interest me. No, I don't hold that view. movies are quite educative. If you are used to watching them, they would have helped you a great deal. So when you knew I hated home movies, why didn't you tell me what was on the tape? To avoid interception. The contents of the notes would have convinced you it wasn't. Yeah. My friend Fina tried to convince me, but I don't take anything serious. My mistake. Very sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, I'll take you to see those fake doctors. Who? The fake doctors. The doctors that are behind all this problem. No, they... They destroyed the happiness in my home. Not completely. Because you're not dead. After all attempts to take your life in the hospital. How did you know about that? Do you remember Tiger? Yes. You know him. He used to come to my ward. I am Tiger. What? Oh my god! Each time I try to Each time I try to take my life out of frustration, something keeps waking me up. That would be your sister's spirit. No. If she was alive, she wouldn't have let him destroy my name for me to see. He won't understand. Or later. I'm going to take you somewhere. But right now, I guess it's pretty late. You have to go home. You're right. Thank you. You're welcome once again. Bride. 
Marcy. Hello, Chief. Hello, sir. Sir, I'm very sorry for what you have gone through all this while. I don't know why our kids are like this. How could a sane creature be so malicious for nothing? I could have wonder myself. You see, we were not brought up to a wild dinner on time. Once again, I'm very sorry. How I wish we knew the truth early enough. That poor girl's life would have been wasted just like that. Well, it was a moment of my life for the job. But I commanded the killing of an innocent girl. Someone I don't even know whether she's guilty or not. Inspector, it would have been terrible. Terrible. Her afflictions have been so much. But what baffles me most is why she didn't open up before the court. Well, I guess she was frustrated. Um, having lost her pride as a woman and caused or killed a fellow human being, if you know what I mean. Uh, probably she felt there was no use. It's unbelievable. Sir, from the look of things, sir, I think your daughter is innocent. And I promise to do all within my reach to make sure she regains her freedom. Thank you. Yes, um, we will do everything we can to make sure she regains her freedom. Inspector, I agree with you. Because already we have enough evidence to tender in the court. So I believe that our freedom will be guaranteed. Well, gentlemen, we cannot but uh, thank you for being there I and mean, for understanding the situation. I have always felt this way too, that my daughter uh, will be vindicated someday. And on behalf of my family, my wife, my, uh, myself and my children, and the entire world of justice and equity, I want to appreciate you and thank you very much for I've been on the side of uh, justice. So once again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, I can't believe she's dead. I wish she were not. Well, you know that's not possible. They pronounced judgment on her a long time ago.
What are you doing here all alone? Is she crying? You destroyed my life. No. Like I told you the other day, your happiness was not completely destroyed. Why did you take me to that hospital yesterday? Just, I just wanted you to know that your womb was not destroyed. Your womb is intact. <laughs> what do you mean? You heard me. You? I planned it. I did it. I did it for your sister. I actually planned it with the doctor to make you believe your womb was destroyed even while it was intact. That was the only way you can know the true nature of Kashmir. It was so self-centered. It never would have been there for you. God. I wouldn't like you to start crying. Calm down. If I hadn't done that, you probably would have died like your sister. Now your happiness has been restored. I want you to be happy. I have to really take my leave. My mission has been accomplished. Goodbye.
Just one of us.